Well, let's move on. Imperial was founded by Bill Lynch and has businesses in logistics, car rental, tourism, financial services, vehicle distribution, and retail. They're not missing much there, are they? Yep. So under new CEO Mark Lamberti, they have begun a process of somewhat streamlining the operations, a decision in the last few days to offload some of their financial services business. But certainly they seem to want to remain very active in this. And remember, these are the guys that own the head license for some of those Korean vehicles, which have been very, very successful in the South African market of late. Let's give you the context here. Market cap, we're sitting with 37.8 billion rand, a dividend yield of 4 4.2 price to earnings ratio of 11.7. Are we still waiting patiently for the kick up? Well, anticipated yeah, Imperial. I think what's happened, you're seeing the momentum come out of this, uh, particularly that AMH business that Paul referred to. Um, that where it was a, a high profile uh, performer and really very RAND sensitive. The RAND was strong at some point, has weakened considerably. That's hurt the business. They're a pure exporter of vehicles. They've had to price accordingly. They also hold some stocks so they make some losses there. You've seen the AMH uh, vehicle sales volume numbers come down significantly. And I think that's held back the group. I think what you have seen off the back of that, they actually are falling out of the top 40. So it has been a solid top 40 stock. The rebalance at the end of this month, they're going to be coming out of that. That's also short term, obviously negative flow on the stock. Is there opportunity? We're going to pull up that share price in a moment. Is there opportunity sort of in the imperial around story 200 right rand now? a share for a while. I think it's probably below that now. Hmm, I don't know. Look, I mean. Uh, what about vehicle sales? The NAMSA stats reflect that the market is sort of up one month, down the next. So I don't know whether there's a discernible trend. Like I said earlier, there's plenty of money available. You can find a loan to buy a car in this country without much difficulty, either new or used. And everybody in South Africa wants a car because, you know, the public transport options are not that great. And, you know, if you've spent any time in a minibus taxi, you definitely want your own car. Before you invest in the store, you need to understand whether there is going to be a value kicker. And we're going to see the share price moving up from current levels. As you can see, tracking pretty much sideways yeah, at the moment. So basically, uh, Mark Lamberti is looking to diversify the business. They have been over-reliant on, 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 on motor vehicle uh, retail. And uh, they're now moving into African logistics. They've been very successful there. Those acquisitions and the growth there has been very positive. Farmers but it'll take time goods. for that to work its way into That's shareholder right. value. That's right. In the near term, they did indicate the AMH business is going to have a difficult time, permanent reduction in margins. So I, I'd, I'd say near term headwinds coupled with uh, a, an attractive African growth story. Mm. And a lot of, uh, we've spoken about this often, but a lot of pressure on Mark Lamberti himself to deliver on this one. Yeah, because uh, he was a CEO with a big reputation from MassMart. He'd been on the board of Telcom, so he certainly had a lot to offer. Many people in his situation might just have retired. But bringing somebody in like that obviously meant that the board felt that they needed to break perhaps with the past from a strategic point of view. And I think you're beginning to see that now with the offloading of the Regent business and so on and so forth. Anything else to add, Rowan, before we call it hot or not? No, I think they're doing a good job of uh, transforming and diversifying. Uh, so medium term prospects are good. I think maybe are what you'd like to see pick it up on, on weakness. I think there could be some, some further weakness, uh, but the, the long term story and with Mark Lamberti at the helm, I think is promising. Hot or not? I'm going to go hot. I know it's perhaps a little bit bold, but I like the assets. So I'm we gonna like go bold. it when you're bold. Hot or not, Rowan? I'm going to go not. Not hot.